cold today. I think it's like 35 degrees or something like that. Uh, good morning, guys. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Saturday. Oh, it's uh, 7.18. I got a job starting at 8. So I'm about to go. Uh, no, can I get a, uh, a chicken biscuit and a large Coke? Yeah, that's it. Thank you, Mr. Thanks. <sighs> Alright guys, so I'm in my first job. I'm about to go in. It's a big apartment building. I don't know her last name and I don't know her apartment number. She didn't put that down in the description. So I'm going to go into the entryway. And uh, and then I'm going to give her a call and, and, and locate her. And uh, I'll let you guys know uh, how this... Alright guys, so I'm back. Whew. It's not the mask that gives me trouble, it's you know, all the walking with all my, I have a tool backpack. Then I have this big toolbox that uh, is what I'm trying out now. But uh, I just got done with this one. The closet, it was one of those wire ones by like Rubbermaid. And they give you these really weak anchors. And they're meant for like linens and stuff, but nobody uses it like that. But you know, they give you this really weak anchors with like a screw. And the screw just pushes in and that's supposed to open it up and hold it in place. So what I ended up doing was uh, I just took it all down. And um, I replaced like the two ends and the two bars. I replaced the those nails. I replaced them with toggle bolts, and uh, that sturdied it up. On top, the, those little hooks. I just I removed the broken ones. The other ones were were fine. They were lined up uh, pretty close. They were pretty close uh, level. Cause I was like, I checked with my laser level. I was like, if it's not level, then I'm gonna have to like, uh, you know, take them down and kind of make make sure they're all level. But they were pretty level, so I didn't touch those. Um, there was a couple ones that I had snapped off, like the piece, the, pla the plastic piece had broken, so I, I took those off. Replaced all the ones with toggle bolts, showed the lady. I was uh I was out of there like in 24 minutes, and that's with that's with a couple minutes of waiting at the door for the for the lady to come open the door for me. And she gave me $15 tip, cash tip. So and it's only 8.30. My next tip doesn't start till 11.30, so I'm gonna go home and chill for a little bit, watch uh Take care of my kids and stuff. So I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. All right, guys. So I'm back. It's uh 11:26. This job starts at 11:30. Uh, this one should be simple. It's just uh, mounting a TV, and I think the the client says they think they have metal studs. Hopefully it'll be a quick one. Then I'll go home, and then my next job starts like I think at like 3:30 or something like that. Either 3:30 or 3. All right, guys. I just got done with that job. It took me exactly an hour, 11:30 to 12:30, and um. Now I'm heading home because my next job, my next job doesn't start till three, and the next job at three it's in Wrigleyville, and it's uh he has two outdoor lights, they're like they're they're like you know screwed onto the wall, and uh, he tried to take a, take it he tried to take out the screws so that he could uh, change the bulb on them, and the screws are all stripped and they're stripped and because they were really tough to get out so he needs me to he needs me to take out the the screws and change the bulb on two lights. Yeah, but next this job took me an hour. It shouldn't have taken me that long, uh, but it's like one of those really cheap Amazon single arm uh, mounts, and like the, the the back it has a square, and then you're just you're supposed to put these arms onto it, depending on the where the configuration of your of your uh, screws are, and. For some reason that took me forever because I, I, I put it like one configuration and, it, and it, it didn't cover all the screws so i kind of like fiddled with it for like ever it took me longer to do that than than to actually drill the holes and 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 mount the tv and actually i also came across it was metal studs and I actually came across a problem that it was a really thin um like really narrow metal stud that when i drilled into it made the hole for the snap toggle the snap toggle didn't have enough room to go all the way in and open up it, 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 it hit the back of the stud so when that happens what you got to do is is screw make the hole like lopsided so that you can stick the the snap toggle in sideways and then sideways enough to open it and then you can just put you know put it back in place and have it sit you know square with the with the wall or whatever um, yeah i'll let you guys know how my next job is. hey guys all right so i'm done sorry about the the way it looks i think it's because it's not quite dark enough not quite light enough the, the phone doesn't know what to do but uh that took me 50 minutes 49 49 minutes uh first i went uh this, so there was two lights and they each had two screws they were both completely stripped 
Uh, first I try to use the hacksaw, and but the metal's too soft, so when I put the uh, the screwdriver in and try to twist it, it would it would just get stripped as well. So then I try to use the um, the extractor bit. I try to drilling a hole in it. I try drilling a hole deep enough for the extractor bit to go in, and then try to pull it out that way. But the extractor bit, I don't know if they're old or something, or I don't know why. It wasn't really biting. It wasn't grabbing good. So uh, I ended up uh, using vice grips. That turned out to be the easiest way. I should have just done that from the get-go. I used vice grips. The first one I used, it, it completely snapped the head off. But then uh, on the other on the other three, I was able to put the vice grips and actually uh, unscrew the screw uh, little by little. And then uh, luckily I had, had some random screws that actually seemed to... Uh, I had, had from the TV mounting that I do, I keep all the extra screws that they send you when whenever the customer doesn't want wants to just kind of throw it away. And in that in that variety, I had I had the right size screws for to put these uh, lights back on. So yeah, I wasted a lot of time using the hacksaw, using the extractor drill bit. I should just gone for the vice grips uh, from the get go, and it would have gone a lot faster. But that's it. One hour. That's it. Uh, my next job starts at five thirty. But I'm going to see if I could, uh, if she could start earlier. I just messaged her right now. If she doesn't get, uh, get back to me uh, pretty quick, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call her. But uh, she has a, a broken doorbell button. And I think she wants me to, the way she, I, I can't explain it to you guys, but she took she took the doorbell button off because she wanted to put a new cover on it. But she said it came apart. But really, her whole doorbell broke. She needs a new doorbell, but she thinks that I could just put it back together and put that new cover on. So I'm gonna stop by Home Depot and see if they have a, a doorbell that could uh, that could swing by and grab real quick, a really like uh, inexpensive one. Just so I don't have to try to rebuild the way she, the way she's had it in her mind. That's not how the doorbell works. Um, you know how doorbells come in like in a, in a little box, in a little rectangular box. She thinks that that box is like a cover that I could just uh, it's like a decorative cover, but it's not. It's, it's just the actual doorbell. So I'm gonna see uh, what I could do for her. So I'll let you guys know how it goes. All right, guys. So I just got to this job. Uh, the doorbell one. I stopped by Home Depot. I bought one of these uh, push button things. I might have to. I might use it. I might not. I don't know. I gotta see uh, what she has. Um, let me go check this out. What's up, guys? So uh, I just got done with that job. That job took me way longer than it should have. It took me an hour. I was there from 4:35 to like 5:35. Uh, it was actually a simple job, but I couldn't get the doorbell. Uh, first, the wires were too short. I made the hole for the doorbell and then the, the brass bracket that she had. Um, there was too many holes where that bracket was supposed to go. So I had to like work, I had to like just uh, try to maneuver it so that I could drill a new hole, a new pilot hole for a new screw. You know, in between all this like, you know, Swiss cheese of, of, of different holes that were already there. Uh, it took me longer than it should have. Um, but it came out good. I just... Uh, I'll give you like a quick sample. Just took the. Uh, she gave it to me like it was broke, completely broken. So it was a good thing that I went to the Home Depot and got the the new one. And uh, I just I drilled the hole that it said they said you need a like a five eighth inch hole. Uh, then the thing just sits inside and the bracket. Uh, you gotta take that little brass part out and then put put the bracket in and then put that brass part in. It's like it's a, and it's a really cheap door, but it's like three bucks. So I think uh, it's not it, it doesn't function smoothly, but. It's in. It looks nice. It's lit. Um, the, the area around the doorbell, like it was already damaged, like before I got there. So I, I told her, like, you know, if you if you want to clean up that area, you just have to like sand it and paint it or whatever. Um, but yeah, that's it. I'm gonna go. Actually, I have one more job, guys. Uh, the job supposed to start at seven, but I I told him I'll, I'll let him know if I could be there earlier because he was trying to get it earlier. This is actually a job that I was supposed to be at yesterday, but uh, I had to like uh, I couldn't make it, so I had to. I told him I could I could reschedule or I could cancel. And uh, uh, he he was he was uh, okay. We're rescheduling. He rescheduled it for tonight because that was the most convenient time for him. So like, I didn't want to work this late, but uh, just to you know, um, not have a, a cancellation, just have a reschedule. I try to make it as easy as I can for the for the client. So last job, it's gonna be hanging curtains and a a bracket for a soundbar. He said, I think. So I don't know. I don't know what that is, but I'll take a look at it. I'll let you guys know how this goes. Hey, what's up, YouTube? Uh, my name is Nesto. So I just got done. It's 7:34. I was at that job from 6:15 to 7:30. So an hour and 15 minutes. That means like uh, how much is that? Like 85 bucks, I think. I think that's what I get paid. Um, and now I'm going home. Day's over. This one was uh, hanging up a curtain rod with some curtains. 
and then um, the sound bar he wanted it he wanted it mounted he had these two little brackets that, that he bought for it and uh, it's, his his TV was above the fireplace and like the bottom of the TV was like really hot and I, I kind of told him like um, I, I, I don't I wouldn't suggest putting the, the sound bar lower than the TV because the TV's already really hot you know it, it could you know it's a fucking fire hazard or whatever and uh, he's like, yeah. I was like, I mean, he's like, uh, have you, had, you know, can can you put it on top? Is is that a thing? And um, I told him like, it's your preference. I, I could put it on top. That's, that's not a problem. Uh, but yeah, man, it was a long day. I don't know how much I made it. Somewhere around three, three seventy, three eighty, maybe. If if, I, if a couple tips roll in, I might get, I might make four hundred. Yeah, okay, guys, my first job started at eight a.m. I just got done right now. It's at uh, seven seven thirty. So it was a long day. You know, I did get some. I did a couple. I did get a couple breaks where I got to go home and stuff like that. But the problem is, I'm I'm running on like four hours of sleep because of, of my newborn. And it's, like, uh, I'll tell you guys really quick. You know, I didn't want to. I didn't want to tell you guys about this. I didn't want to. I just want to make this video just like a straight up vlog. I didn't want to have to update you guys. But um, three weeks. I haven't worked for three weeks. Like uh, in the middle of November, I got I, somebody in my family tested tested positive for COVID. I had to cancel like seven jobs that I had on TaskRabbit so I could go get tested. Um, but then they paused my account for 14 days. Even though like, I think the new guidelines are like 10 days. You know, you're supposed to quarantine for 10 days, but it's TaskRabbit. They don't care. Um, and my doctor told me if you test positive, you know, you need to quarantine at least 10 days. And if you test negative, you should quarantine for seven days. You know, just in case of a false positive or whatever. And uh, I, a couple days later, like, you know, I, I got tested and it came back and I was negative. So I could have, I could have just uh, quarantined for seven days, you know. But test drive is still possible for for 14 days. I was like, cool, I'll, I'll quarantine for seven days. And uh, I mean, long story short, I was sick, but it was, it was just a cold. And my whole family was sick, and it was just a cold. It turned out not to be COVID. So for two weeks, I was actually sick, but not not with not with COVID. The second, the first week, I was like, I was feeling kind of like, like not not great, but I was like, you know, I'm gonna take it easy this 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 seven days that I'm supposed to quarantine, and after the seven days, I'm gonna go ham, not on Task Rabbit, but I'm just gonna, I'm gonna hustle and do whatever I gotta do to make some money. And then after those seven days, I felt even worse. I felt sick, so I couldn't even, I didn't even get anything done. I didn't earn a uh, dollar. And then after those two weeks, I'm ready to get back to uh, Task Rabbit, and my my baby got sick, dude. Oh man, he had like a fever, so we were scared it was COVID. So we took him to the hospital. He was there for a week. He was there for. He literally came out. We brought him home yesterday, and that's why I had. That's why I had to cancel the, the, this job and, and reschedule and stuff, move stuff around. So, I, um, yeah, but I mean, he's fine. It's crazy because he, he's fine. He had a fever. He was there for for five days. He was there from Monday to Friday. And they, they they never found out what was wrong with him. They ran test after test. They tested him for COVID twice. They just kept testing, testing, and they didn't. Uh, at the end, they're like, it's it's bizarre and it's a mystery, and we're sorry we can't figure it out. But he's doing better. He's feeling better, so that's good. But we have no we 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 have no idea what 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 actually caused his fevers and stuff. And. Um, so I was I was like in and out of the hospital like all week like me, me and my wife would take uh, turns you know taking the night shift we would split the day in half and one sleeps at home with with, with our kid and the other sleeps uh, sleeps at the hospital and also like a bunch of my family got COVID so we, we were out a babysitter you know uh, there was one day that I got my that I was able to get my niece to babysit and that was like I believe it was Thursday I think it was Thursday maybe Wednesday I forgot which which day I was able to get my my niece to babysit my my kid. And actually, I worked like two jobs on, on Task Rabbit that day. You know, because I had, I had already like okay, the two weeks are up, so I started opening my availability and started getting jobs. And then when my kid got sick, I had to start canceling, like moving stuff around, and taking myself off the availability. Um, I rescheduled a bunch, so yeah, man, it got cray. Last night I slept like four hours. My you know, my uh, my kid's doing better now. He's, he's doing great now. But it was it was. My, my wife was like completely like um, sleep deprived because she had been at the hospital the night before and at the, obviously at the hospital you don't, you don't get much sleep you know uh, so it was so you know I, it was my turn to let her sleep and, and and I get a little sleep deprived and my baby uh, you know 
I went to sleep like at midnight. He woke me up like at two because he had a feed. Then you know I put him back. I put him back. Put him back to sleep. But I couldn't. I couldn't fall asleep. Fall asleep right away. So I ended up going to sleep like around three something. Then he woke me up again like at six to to drink milk again. And at six I was like, it's, well, it's time to get ready because I got this this job. And I I originally uh, scheduled myself to start at 10 a.m. But since I since I haven't done anything for three weeks. You know, since I haven't earned any money for three weeks, I was like, I got, I got to squeeze in as many jobs as I can. So that, 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 that's why it's such a long day. And uh, I'm really grateful that my that my kid is nice and safe. He's 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 still chubby. He, you know, he didn't like like lose a lot of weight from the fevers or anything like that. He's still super chubby. Uh, I love that. Um, and I'm and I'm really grateful that that I got Task Rabbit that I could, you know, do this this Saturday. You know, come here and make almost four hundred dollars. After uh, after three weeks of, of not doing anything, not not doing nothing, being able to um, get this much work done, you know, even though I, I'm sleep deprived and all that, and and I had a rough couple weeks, I'm just uh, thank I'm thankful that uh, that I could come here and have this really long day that I didn't feel great or whatever, you know, but it's, like it's just so so awesome to to be able to come out here and make money like. Um, Obviously, you guys know like the whole situation with the economy and all this stuff. And I'm, I'm gonna tell you right now, it's gonna get worse before it gets better. And you know, everybody's gonna go through some hardship, man, because it's it's not it's, um, it's not looking good, man. Like my like my boy said, uh, shit ain't gonna be looking good, you know. Shit, it's, it's some dude owed him money. He's, he's like, hey, man, I need my money, man. Or shit ain't gonna be looking good. And that's how it is right now, dude. The economy, where nobody's working. Like I couldn't even get a babysitter. Like I was like, dude, what if you're like a single mother or you don't have that much family? Like, like and the daycares are closing. I was like, man, there's millions of people not making money. Not shit ain't gonna be looking good. Uh, but I'm, I'm going home. Thanks guys for tuning in. Um, oh, this last video I couldn't I couldn't make any uh, I couldn't take any video because. It was it was in the living room that there was curtains and the and the the soundbar and like the it was a dude and his and his girlfriend or his wife I don't know and they were watching TV like like right there while I was like doing it so they were watching John Wick uh, I think two John Wick two so but I, I had my 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 head, headphone on so I was like listening to something else and now I'm going home and tomorrow my my first job starts at 10 a.m. I was gonna open myself up for for earlier uh, again but I was like nah I'm good. I have a job like I think I have three jobs tomorrow, like one at ten, one at two, and one at uh, I forgot. I forgot, but thanks, guys. Uh, subscribe if you can, man. Like I, even though I haven't, I haven't uh, been posting. Like I see, like you know, I get like a, a subscriber here and there. It's like it makes my day, man. So if you can't subscribe, go ahead and uh, leave a comment. Thanks, guys. Take it easy.